ओके गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगेन वी वे डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज जर्नी टू द एंड ऑफ द अर्थ रिटर्न बाय तिशानी दोषी राइट आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू द समरी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन दर इज वन स्मॉल पार्ट दैट इज रिमेनिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश इन टू डेज सेशन right so i advise all of the students to keep the textbook with you that is on page number 20 page number 20 i'm starting from the human impact right before we begin i'd like to tell you a short summary or in small line of in revision of this chapter that is this chapter is about antarctica this chapter is about antarctica once it was a part of india that is a land part of india but due to the biological changes it is now separated and it is somewhat you know 600 kilometers away from chennai right so that is what it is we have discussed in the previous session right so that is almost 100 hours in the combination of an car plane and ship the writer travels to that particular place to see whether the life in antarctica is possible or not right so let's begin human impact what is the human impact human civilizations have been around for planetary 12000 years barely a few seconds on the geological clock in that short amount of time we have managed to create quite a ruckness that means changes ruckness means changes etching our dominance over nature with our villages towns cities and mega cities right if we think about the previous years right it is almost has been said that human do exist more than 12000 years ago right this is 2020 so almost 2020 years but even before that that was before christ when christ was born jesus christ it became zero and it started 1 2 3 4 5 then till 2020 so 2020 years of this existence after the christ is born right but before the christ was born jesus christ was born there was a life too humans did exist even before that right that is almost estimated around 12000 years around 12000 years so we can imagine our dominance on nature right gujarati ma tumne simple sense ma kahu to apnu dominance nature upar etlu che that we have made many changes in this particular planet right forest kapai jaye highways bani jaye malls bani jaye complex bani jaye is new uh, particular constructions are being made new roads are being made new technology is being implemented one can fly from one city to the other city all these things have been constantly developing right and that is what makes the biological change in the particular planet and that is what makes the particular place separates from each other and it has been estimated that humans do exist on this planet more than 12000 years ago more than 12000 years ago right that is what it is i'm repeating it again see 12000 years barely a few seconds on geological clock geologically pramane tame joa jao so it is few minutes few seconds but for humans it is too much right in short amount of time we have managed to create a quite a ruckness ruckness means changes so what are the changes that is dominance over the nature with our own villages we have developed villages towns cities and mega cities right the rapid increase of human population has left us battling an unimaginated burning of fossil fuels has now created a blanket of carbon dioxide around the world right the amount of carbon dioxide the humans you know use certain products and the amount of carbon dioxide is constantly increasing co2 right we use fuels different types of fuels right and what do they produce they produce carbon dioxide which is again harmful for the humanity right but humans are not concerned with all this kind of things right so we are the one who are you know imbalancing the nature imbalancing the nature right i might have give you even the example of delhi the capital of india the atmosphere over there is very dangerous even it is dangerous you know to take breath in that particular place because that much atmosphere is being disturbed right the amount of carbon dioxide level is so much over there right that the amount of oxygen is not available properly this is what the problems that the particular place or the state delhi is facing today right 
who did all these things it is the humans it is the humans right so that is uh, the rapid increase of human population has left us battling with other species for limited resources and unmitigated burning of fossil fuels like uh, petrol diesel kerosene all this kind of things right has now created a blanket of carbon dioxide around the world which is slowly but surely increasing the global temperature which is slowly increasing the global temperature right in summer we know that what is the temperature right it goes sometimes beyond 46 47 and then sometimes it reaches 49 right what is this this is too much of heat rain too much of rain in monsoon winter too much of cold right each and every season it goes to the extreme level what is this this is the global effect that the humans are making in this planet and which changes the atmospheric level and it gives its reply in its own way right nature pachi potani rite jawab aape bahut thandi pade bahut garmi pade ane bahut varsad hai which is harmful to the humans which is harmful to the humans and we are the ones actually who are disturbing the nature by producing more amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere આપણને જ પ્રોબ્લેમ થાય છે ટેકનોલોજીના નામે આઈટીના નામે ડેવલપમેન્ટના નામે ઘણી બધી વસ્તુ કન્સ્ટ્રક્ટ થાય છે ઘણા ફોરેસ્ટ ઉડાડી દેવામાં આવે છે આ બધું શું છે વોટ ઇઝ ઓલ ધીસ થિંગ્સ દિસ ઇઝ ઓલ અબાઉટ યુ નો ક્રિએટિંગ એન ઇમ્બેલેન્સ ઇન ધી નેચર ક્રિએટિંગ એન ઇમ્બેલેન્સ ઇન ધી નેચર રાઈટ ધ નેચર હેઝ ઇટ્સ ઓન લિમિટ્સ એન્ડ ધેન વોટ હેપન્સ નેચર રિપ્લાયઝ ઇન ઇટ્સ ઓન વે રાઈટ ધીસ ઇઝ વોટ ઇટ ઇઝ climatic change is one of the most hotly contested environmental debates climate change right this is what we are facing right now of our time well will the west antarctic ice sheet melt entirely that's a question mark antarctica is a place which is covered with full of ice sheets right baraf na mota mota pahad hai now there is a question going on in the terms of debate will that ice sheet will melt completely jo a melt thai jaye ne antarctica ane e jo baraf na pahad melt thai ne pani thai jaye ne and if it comes to the other places right many countries would be drowned in the water right ocean na level etla uncha jata hai it would become very difficult for the humans to exist right himalaya again right it's one of the biggest particular you know uh, mountain in the particular nation of india right aur jo a imbalance tha padwa mande tutwa mande it destroys many states of india aku nation je che india ema gani badi jagyaye nuksan thai sake right the global level e jo temperature change thai to pachi nature e ni rite jawab aape and at the end it would be the destruction it would be the destruction right climate is one of the most hotly contested environmental debates of our time will the west antarctic ice sheet melt entirely that's a debate going on right that's a particular issue jo aa badu melt thai jase ne pani thai jase to world ma su thase that's a question mark will the gulf stream ocean current be disputed that means enu je ocean level che gulf of ocean level right a change thai jase ena images change thai jase will it be the end of the world will the world be ended if this antarctica melts entirely right is a crucial element in this debate not just because it is the only place in the world which has never sustained a human population and therefore remains relatively pristine in this respect but more importantly because it holds its ice cores half million year old carbon records trapped in its layer of ice it holds lot of carbon which are been trapped in the layer of ice એ જે આઈસના પહાડ છે ને એની અંદર નકરું કાર્બન છે રાઈટ એન્ડ ઇફ ઇટ મેલ્ટ દેટ કાર્બન ગોઝ ઇન ટુ ધી એટમોસ્ફિયર રાઈટ કેન ધી હ્યુમન સર્વાઈવ દેન નો વી નીડ ઓક્સિજન હવે એન્ટાર્ટિકા એટલી મોટું પ્લાનેટ એટલી મોટી જગ્યા છે ઇન ધીસ પ્લાનેટ રાઈટ હવે એ મેલ્ટ થઈ જાય અને એ કાર્બન ડાયોક્સાઇડ ગેસ એ કાર્બન જે છે આઈસની અંદર રાઈટ એ જો એટમોસ્ફિયરમાં ફેલાઈ જાય તો ઓક્સિજન દેખાય નહીં 
and we require oxygen to survive that's a basic science right so this debatable questions are being going on why because we humans are the one you know who are trying to create a dominance on nature आ नड़े से आ काटी नाखो अँ फॉरेस्ट है अँ थी हाईवे बनाओ आ जगह आ रीवर से एन फ्लो चेन्ज कर नाखो अँ डेम बना दो एंड डिफरंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वाय वी आर हेरेसिंग दी नेचर एंड वंस वी हेरेस और वी ट्राई टू चेन्ज दी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेचर देन इट्स फिनिश राइट पी जय नेचर एनी रीते रिप्लाय करे तरह आप जुवाज रहे अपनी पास कोई जेवा स्टेप्स के कोई जो प्री प्लानिंग नहीं होत कि आप शू कर फॉर एक्जाम्पल अर्थक्वेक नेचर एनी रीते जवाब आपे अर्थक्वेक इज वन ऑफ दी कॉन्सेप्ट अर्थक्वेक थाय तो आप कहीं कर वी के नॉट डू एनीथिंग बिकॉज नेचर हेज इट्स ओन रिप्लाय जय रिप्लाय आए तरह ह्यूमन्स कहीं जी सकता राइट दिस इज वॉट इट इज ए क्वेश्चन टू थिंक are we the one who are disturbing this planet in the terms of environment in the terms of nature and if we are able to survive can the next generation can survive on this planet planet peacefully that's a question mark can they get all the things which we require right now apne jo chat pade hai ne apne em kaya vastu mongi che apna budget ma nahi many things are like that we like them we love them but they are not in our hands because they are too expensive or we cannot afford it right atyare ch ketli vastu ma ban chhod kariye a ne ana thi ek level ochu and all this kind of things if not this then this this is the current situation right now of this environment of this planet can the next generation even get the things that we are getting today apanne to thodu bhi made ne next generation talking about 50 100 years down the line can they get all the things that we are getting to them it's a question mark jo nature ne change karu koi place koi rivers koi mountains koi forest koi regions deforestation and all these kinds of things right then the next generation would have to suffer a baddi vastu ahya debate thai che right a group che ja aa aa loko tya antarctica ma gaya che ne they are you know researching all these things so they are talking with each other and they are talking will is this antarctica this place if it melts will it be the end of the earth right it's a debatable topic antarctica is a crucial element in this debate not just because it is the only place in the world which has never sustained human population and therefore remains relatively pristine in its respect but more importantly because it holds the ice cores right half million years old carbon records all carbon records trapped in its layer of ice if we want to study and examine if we want to study and examine the earth past jo apne earth nu study kariye of the past right present and future antarctica is the place to go if we are on the base of research thing right जे लोग साइंस फील्ड में जाए रिसर्च करता हो राइट एंड इफ दे आर यू नो रिसर्चिंग ऑन दिस प्लेनेट वॉट इट इज वॉट अर्थ इज एंटार्टिका इज द प्लेस देट दे नीड टू गो दे फाइंड ऑल द सॉल्यूशंस एट दैट प्लेस राइट मूविंग अहेड स्टूडेंट्स ऑन आइस स्टूडेंट्स राइट ए लोग एक ग्रुप तो स्टूडेंट्स ए लोग ए जगह आ गया था सो दे वेर स्टेडिंग ऑन दी आइस द प्रोग्राम आई वॉज वर्किंग विथ एन old shokeski aims to do exactly this by taking high school students to the end of the world that is the end part of the world where a human cannot survive where a human cannot survive and that place is antarctica right aims to do exactly that this by taking high school students to the end of the world and providing them with inspiring educational opportunities which will help them foster a new understanding and respect for our planet अत्यार समझ अत्य सपोज आ एक्जाम्पल चा हूँ तक समझा चु यू आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टेड दी कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज ऑल ऑल गोज इन दी नेचर एंड दिस इज वॉट दी एन्वायरमेंट इज गेटिंग डिस्टर्ब जो लैक्चर पूरा था तब भूली जसो दिस इज द ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी देट वी डू वी आर नाइधर कंसर्न विथ एन्वायरमेंट राइट हूँ एम को एटलीस्ट देर शूड बी वन ट्री इन योर हाउस एटलीस्ट देर शूड बी यू नो गार्डन्स विच शूड बी डेवलप सो देट विल बेलेंस दी एन्वायरमेंट डिफॉरेस्ट्रेशन ओछू छ आप बड़ी वस्तु खबर है हा हा करे वी ऑल डू एंड एक्सेप्ट ऑल दीज थिंग्स बट डू वी रियली केर अबाउट दीस प्लेनेट वी डोट 
right as soon as my lecture will get over i'll leave from this place and you will forget and you will start with the new subject but indirectly it affects you and me because we are not taking care of our own planet राइट दिस इज वॉट इट इज अपनी सोसायटी में जो कोई कचरो करे अथवा गंदू करे तो केव पेट में दुखे राइट तरत आप कम्प्लेन करे भाई अँ ने आ ने आ मार एरिया में है बिकॉज इट रिलेट्स टू अस राइट दैट रिलेट्स इन अवर सोसायटी सो वी डायरेक्टली अपोज टू देम बिकॉज यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू पुट द वेस्ट ओवर यर बिकॉज इट इज द रूल ऑफ द सोसायटी यू नीड टू पुट इट इन द डस्टबिन और वेर दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्लेस इट इज यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू थ्रो एनी थिंग इन द सोसायटी राइट we make the rules for our own society then why not for the planet or why not save the planet right because we live in this planet too ane jare pachi e precautions ne security leva ma nathi avti take care karva ma nathi avtu nature nu then at one point of time when nature replies ek sathe lakho loko finish thai jaye right आ एंटार्टिका कॉन्सेप्ट तब समझा हो तब जाणू हे तब कदाच अत्यार मेरी पास थी लर्न करता हो एंड यू विल हेव दी नॉलेज ओके दीस आर द थिंग्स देट आर हेपनिंग इन दीस वर्ल्ड आम नहीं आम करवा आम नहीं आम करवा बट डू वी एक्चुअली डू इट आई विल गीव यू वन टास्क एज एन स्टूडेंट्स राइट एटलीस्ट प्लांट वन ट्री इन योर हाउस दैट विल सेव दी पर्टिक्युलर एनवायरमेंट यू आर सिक्सटी और सैवंटी मे बी और सिक्स एटी इन स्ट्रेंथ आई डोट नो राइट सो एटलीस्ट देर वुड बी सैवंटी टू एटी ट्रीज इन सुरेंद्रनगर you can spread this message to your dear ones or your closed ones so at, le- at least they will plant one one tree so at least if you are 70 so it would be 140 even they can spread the other message to their closed ones and it goes on all right this is how we can change the environment it is up to us this is a small task as a moral activity to save our environment ek nanak ko jhad to ugavi sakiye na इन अवर ओन हाउस चलो घर ना है तो तब घर बहार उगा सको सोसायटी में यू माइट हेव सम कॉमन प्लॉट्स वेर यू केन प्लांट ए ट्री दिस इज सम मॉरल एक्टिविटी दैट यू नीड टू डू राइट एंड दिस चेंज इज दी एन्वायरमेंट एट दी पर्टिक्युलर नेशनल और एट दी स्टेट लेवल एंड इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द और इट चेंज इज द पर्टिक्युलर पिक्चर ऑफ द सीटी और ऑफ द नेशन राइट वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दिस प्लैनेट so here that is why the writer tishani doshi tries to explain all this concept of this planet by going to a place that is antarctica right i hope it's a moral task right tumne ke to nahi but ek moral responsibility tarike if you plant or if you can plant one tree in your house please do it that will save the environment right moving ahead and providing them with inspiring educational opportunities which will help them to foster a new understanding and respect for our planet it has been in operation for 6 years now headed by canadian geoff green who got tired of carting celebrities and retired rich curiosity seekers would only give back in a limited way with students on ice he offers the future generation of policy makers a life changing experience at an age when they are ready to absorb learn and most importantly act This is the time you can learn and act and try to create a change. If I tell an 80 person old man or a woman or a lady that to plant a one tree, can they plant a tree at the age of 80? No, because their life is over. It is you, the youth, the generation of today, the students of today can make changes whatever they want. That is why G of Green tries to says that that is why I am giving you all this information. Now my vyakti che G of Green naam no, right? E bade students ne message aap hai. because you are the one who can make a change so there me tumne kem kidu at least you can plant one tree that would change the particular scene of the particular city at least of surendranagar the me 17 is strength ma jo to 70 trees would be developed maybe after 5 to 10 years if you take care of it right so it's a moral message je mu tumne information spread karu jo em aa vyakti tya betho betho in the antarctica place right where the students are there he shares all this information to them because he thinks that they are the people that they can absorb that means they can put it in their head they'll have the knowledge they can learn about the environment and the most importantly they can act they can make the changes right the reason the program has been so successful is because it is impossible to go anywhere near the south pole and not to be affected by it It is easy to be blaze about polar ice caps melting while sitting in the comfort zone of your respective latitude and longitude. 
but when you can visibly see glaciers retreating and ice shelves collapsing you begin to realize that the threat of global warming is very real right the threat of global warming is very real राइट घरे बैठा बैठा अपना कॉर्नर में एक मस्त रूम हो बैठा बैठा टीवी में जुए और आइस मेल्ट थत हो एंटार्टिका में थी आप टीवी में जुए ऑनलाइन जुए राइट इट लुक्स वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वाव द वॉटर इज मेल्टिंग द सीनरी इज सो ग्रूट ग्रेट द नेचर इज टू गुड बट वेन यू गो टू देट प्लेस एंड वेन यू सी देट द आइस इज मेल्टिंग इट्स अ डेन्जर फॉर द ह्यूमन्स राइट दिस इज वॉट ही इज सीइंग राइट सी एम रिपीटिंग इट अगेन इट इज ईजी राइट to blaze about polar ice caps right bo sehlu che ghare betha betha kyu right ke bhai while sitting in your comfort zone of your respective latitude and longitude that means in your in your own house but when you can visibly see glaciers when you are there in antarctica na tame nazre juo ne ke baraf na mota mota pahad pani thai che and that goes and mix into the oceans right you can see or you can begin to realize that the threat of global warming is very real right ओशियन न लेवल उपर आत जाए सैवंटी पर्संट ऑफ दीस प्लेनेट इज कवर्ड विथ वॉटर इवन टूडे थर्टी पर्संट में ज ह्यूमन्स रहे आखा वर्ल्ड की अंदर सित्तेर टका आजेप इवन इन दीस एरा ऑल्सो दीस प्लेनेट होल्ड सैवंटी पर्संट ऑफ दी वॉटर राइट हम ये तब विचार करो एंटार्टिका से आखू मेल्ट थी जाए तो जी जगह वॉटर से लेवल उपर आ जाए ए बधु पा क्या गुजरी जैसे ज्या रहे त्या प्लस ए आइस शीट्स एनी अंदर नकर कार्बन है सो इट विल रिलीज कार्बन ऑल्सो देट वुड बी अगेन यू नो एन प्रॉब्लम फॉर दी ह्यूमन्स इट विल क्रिएट वेरी लेस ऑक्सिजन इन दिस एटमोस्फियर एक साथ लाखों लोग फिनिश थी जैसे दिस इज वॉट दी रियालिटी इज राइट अपन ने घी वर एम थत एंटार्टिका क्या है आप इंडिया क्या है राइट बट ए बदी जगह धीमे 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 करत आए इट मे टेक थ्री मंथ्स सिक्स मंथ्स बट इट इज गोइंग टू इफेक्ट अवर कंट्री ऑल्सो राइट एंटार्टिका बिकॉज ऑफ अर सीम्पल इकोसिस्टम एंड लेक ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज द परफेक्ट प्लेस टू स्टडी हाउ लिटल चेन्जिस इन द एन्वायरमेंट कैन हेव बिग रिप्रोडक्शन्स टेक द माइक्रोसोपिक पाइथोप्लेंगटन दोज ग्रासिज ऑफ द सी दैट नरिश एंड सस्टेन द एंटायर सदर्न ओशियन फूड चेन This single celled plants uses the sun's energy to assimilate carbon and synthesis organic compounds in that wondrous and most important of the process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis ni process tha chale. Right in that place. I'm repeating that particular paragraph again. Right read reading from the second line. Right it is the perfect place to study how a little change in the environment can have big reproductions that means big changes right take the microscopic pythoplankton right a change in the environment those grasses of the sea darya kinare je ghas hoy ne je ugtu hoy e right motu ghas nahi but a small amount of grass which grows naturally right that nourish and sustain the entire ocean food chain this single celled plants aba da plants che right uses the sun's energy they get the energy from the sun and plus the water is there in the ocean so you know they develop themselves automatically to assimilate carbon and synthetic organic on synthesize organic compounds in that wondrous and most important called process known as photosynthesis known as photosynthesis they try even to balance the environment they try to absorb the carbon and try to give oxygen to the humans so that they can survive a photosynthesis process right scientist wants that a further depletion in the ozone layer will affect the activity of pythoplankton which is in turn well affects the lives of all the marine animals and birds of this region and the global carbon cycle right ozone layer right ek 800 thi 1000 feet upar atmosphere ma ek ozone layer hoy राइट ए ओजोन लेयर है एट सन रेज अपना उपर डायरेक्टली पड़ता नहीं जो ये ओजोन लेयर ओछी थती जाए ने तो अपनी स्कीन बंद होवा माँडे बिकॉज द सन रेज विच क्रिएट्स अल्ट्रावायोलेट रेज डायरेक्टली अफेक्ट्स ऑन अवर स्कीन राइट एंड विच वुड इवन यू नो बर्न अवर स्कीन राइट बदाय स्कीन टोन अलग अलग होकनी स्कीन सेंसिटिव होकनी स्कीन कहीं अलग हो राइट इट अफेक्ट्स अवर बॉडी हमें ए जे ओजोन लेयर जो है इन दी अपर एटमोस्फियर राइट it is reducing its level 
it is reducing its level so that the sun rays can directly come on the earth and which reflects and which puts on the human skins right it lay scientist you get a that few the further depletion it lay joe what are a part to go our changes the environment the under can you antarctica how do what are a melt thawa mindo right the ozone layer will affects the activity away the ozone layer say in the upper atmosphere that will be reduced that will be reduced it is a sun rays chain and directly niche our duty nothing right which will in turn will affect the lives of the marine animals the area my reach a animals share the reality under any life now affect curse and the birds birds now affect curse of that region and the global carbon cycle and the global carbon cycle and a carbon new level over there is a environment in the atmosphere in the under right what happens generally when we deep breathe in right we need oxygen and when we drip our breath out right we take or we give the carbon side carbon dioxide right we take in the oxygen we give out the carbon dioxide this is the normal process right have a carbon new level joe what did you a ozone layer oh she's a game a sun rays for a man that directly right antarctica melt the tokyo the ice sheet monthly carbon nickels which will be spreaded in the atmosphere it would be very difficult for the humans to survive and the scientists loco one courage right that further depletion joe what are about to decrease thank you ozone layer it is going to affect the humans living in this planet right there is a great metaphor for existence take care of the small things and the big things will fall into place nani nani was to know the on rock on a really motive was to automatically any jiggy i said they did as simple as that i gave you one task if you plant one tree in your house you are 70 तुम क्लोज वंस ने कह सो सो अगेन मोर सेवेंटी देन दे विल स्प्रेड द मेसेज टू द नेक्स्ट सेवेंटी एंड इट गोज ऑन वन स्मोल एक्टिविटी डन बाय यू इंडिविजुअली चेंजेस इन द पर्टिक्युलर सीन और द इमेज और द पिक्चर ऑफ द सोसायटी एट द वर्ल्ड लेवल बदा लोग एक एक प्लांट इवन ट्री करे ने वी आर वन थर्टी फाइव करोड्स इन द पॉप्युलेशन यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ मच ट्रीज कैन वी प्लांट इफ वी प्लांट इवन वन ट्री इन अवर एंटायर लाइफ एक प्लांट नानकड़ू राइट पर पर्सन इफ यू प्लांट वन ट्री राइट अपू इकोलॉजिकल बेलेंस राइट ए आखू चेन्ज थी जैसे राइट एंड वी माइट यू नो हेव कंट्रोल ऑन दी नेचर वी माइट गेट मोर बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम दी नेचर राइट वी हेव टू प्रिजर्व दी नेचर एंड द लास्ट कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर टूडे देट इज वॉक ऑन दी ओशियन वॉक ऑन दी ओशियन my antarctic experience was full of such fnes that means different different experiences right but the best occurred just short of antarctic circle at 65 5.55 degrees south the sholiski had managed to wedge herself into a thick white stretch of ice between the peninsula and tadpole island which was preventing us from going any further right ave aaj vyakti je je gayi thi that is tension i a Tishani Doshi, the writer of this particular chapter, she shares her experience that the best place was to go to that place in Antarctica. Have Antarctica ma bhi ane ganu bado research kero, and she says that the best event occurred in her life was the Antarctic Circle at 65.55 degrees south. A jagya. The Sholeshki, the particular name of the ship. had managed to wedge herself ena thi had managed to wedge herself yahan thi agar nahi jai sakti right a ship agar nahi jai sakti into a thick white stretch of ice between the peninsula and tadpole island which was preventing us from going any further ice sheet itli thick hati ke ship ema agar nahi jai sakti it stuck over there right The captain decided we were going to turn around and head back north. Now the captain of the ship decided that we cannot go further right because it's too much of ice. So we are turning back towards the north. But before we did, we were all instructed to climb down the gangplank and walk on the ocean. They were literally walking on the ice sheet. ये जो ocean है तो नीचे बर्फ है तो इन्हीं नीचे दरियो है तो राइट पर बरफ न लेवल अथवा आइस शीट थी एटली स्ट्रॉंग थी राइट देट यू केन लिटरली वॉक ऑन दी ओशियन देट इज नॉट इज नोन एज वॉकिंग ऑन दी ओशियन राइट नीचे आखो दरियो होर आइस शीट पथरायेली हो 
પણ તમે એના ઉપર ચાલો છો એન્ડ સ્ટીલ યુ આર નોટ બીંગ ડ્રાઉન્ડ સો યુ કેન ઇમેજિન હાઉ સ્ટ્રોંગ ઇટ વુડ બી બિકોઝ ઇટ વોઝ બીંગ ટોલ્ડ બાય ધી કેપ્ટન દેટ ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ યુ કેન ગો ડાઉન ફ્રોમ ધ શીપ યુ કેન વોક ઓન ધી ઓશિયન એન્ડ દેટ વોઝ ધ બેસ્ટ મોમેન્ટ ફોર હર એટ સિક્સટી ફાઇવ પોઈન્ટ ફિફ્ટી ફાઇવ ડિગ્રી સાઉથ દેટ દે વેર વોકિંગ ઓન ધી ઓશિયન સો દેર વેર ઓલ ફિફ્ટી ટુ ઓફ અસ કેટલા લોકો હતા ટોટલ ફિફ્ટી ટુ કિટેડ આઉટ ઇન ગોરેટેક્સ એન્ડ ગ્લેયર્સ ધ ડ્રેસિંગ ઓફ દેટ પર્ટિક્યુલર પ્લેસ રાઈટ એકદમ ઠંડુ હોય એટલે કેવું ડ્રેસિંગ સેન્સ હોય એન્ડ ગ્લેયર્સ દેટ મીન્સ ધી સ્પેક્સ વોકિંગ ઓન અ સ્ટાર્ક વ્હાઇટનેસ દેટ સીમ્ડ ટુ સ્પ્રેડ આઉટ ફોર એવર જ્યાં જુઓ ને ત્યાં એક જ કલર દેખાય દેટ ઇઝ વ્હાઇટ દેટ ઇઝ વ્હાઇટ ધી કલર ઓફ આઈસ રાઈટ વ્હાઇટ Underneath our feet was a meter thick ice pack and underneath that 180 meters of living breathing salt water 180 meter 2 meters is almost on an average of 6 feet 2 meter એટલે 6 ફૂટ જેટલું થાય તો 180 meter એ તમે વિચાર કરી શકો કેટલું ડીપ એ ઓશિયન નું લેવલ હશે there was a salt water there was a salt water અને એની ઉપર એક આઈસ ની એક પર્ટિક્યુલર શીટ હતી રાઈટ થિક આઈસ પેક રાઈટ એના ઉપર આ બાવન લોકો એ શીપમાંથી ઉતરા એન્ડ દે વેર વોકિંગ ઓન ઇટ દે વેર વોકિંગ ઓન ઇટ રાઈટ ઇન ધી પેરિફેરી ક્રેબિટર સીલ્સ વેર સ્ટ્રેચિંગ એન્ડ સનિંગ ધેમસેલ્ફ ઓન ધી આઈસ ફ્લોઝ મચ લાઈક સ્ટ્રે ડોગ્સ વીલ ડુ અંડર ધ શેડ ઓફ બનિયન ટ્રી ઇટ વોઝ નથિંગ શોર્ટ ઓફ એ રિવેલિટેશન એવરીથિંગ ડઝ ઇન્ડીડ કનેક્ટ એવરીથિંગ વોઝ લુકિંગ કનેક્ટેડ એટ ધેટ પોઈન્ટ ઓફ ટાઈમ રાઈટ ઇમેજિન ઇટ યુ આર ગોઈંગ ટુ એન પ્લેસ નેમ્ડ એન્ટાર્ટિકા સપોઝ તમને એવો ચાન્સ મળે ને તમે એ જગ્યાએ જાઓ છો ત્યાં તમને બરફ સિવાય કાંઈ જ બીજું દેખાતું નથી યુ આર વેરી ફ્યુ ઇન નંબર્સ યુ આર વોકિંગ ઓન ધી ઓશિયન વિચ ઇઝ બીન કમ્પ્લીટલી સ્પ્રેડેડ વિચ ઇઝ વન એટી મીટર્સ ડીપ રાઈટ એન્ડ દર ઇઝ એન બિગ આઈસ શેડ એન્ડ યુ આર વોકિંગ ઓન ઇટ રાઈટ વિથ ઓલ ધ પ્રિકોશન્સ એન્ડ સેફ્ટી ઇટ વુડ બી વન ઓફ ધ મોસ્ટ બ્યુટિફુલ મુવમેન્ટ ઇન યોર ઓન લાઈફ રાઈટ આવો મોકો બીજી વાર મળે નહીં એન્ટાર્ટિકા જવાનું સો દેટ વોઝ ધી એક્સપિરિયન્સ દેટ શી વોઝ શેરિંગ રાઈટ નાઇન ટાઈમ ઝોન્સ સિક્સ ચેક પોઈન્ટ્સ થ્રી બોડીઝ ઓફ વોટર એન્ડ મેની ઇકોસ્પિયર્સ લેટર આઈ વોઝ સ્ટીલ વન્ડરિંગ અબાઉટ ધ બ્યુટી ઓફ ધી બેલેન્સ ઇન ધ પ્લે ઓફ અવર પ્લેનેટ હવે એ લોકો પાછા આવતા વેન દે વેર રિટર્નિંગ બેક ધ પર્ટિક્યુલર ઓથર વોઝ થિંકિંગ નાઇન અલગ અલગ નાઇન ટાઈમ ઝોન્સ નાઇન ડિફરન્ટ ટાઈમ ઝોન્સ સિક્સ ચેક પોઈન્ટ્સ સાઉથ નોર્થ ઇસ્ટ વેસ્ટ જે ચેક પોઈન્ટ્સ હોય જ્યાં ઊભું રહેવાનું હોય સિક્સ ચેક પોઈન્ટ્સ થ્રી બોડીઝ ઓફ વોટર દેટ મીન્સ થ્રી ડિફરન્ટ ડિફરન્ટ પ્લેસીસ ઓફ ઓશિયનિક વોટર રાઈટ એન્ડ મેની ઇકોસ્ફિયર્સ અલગ અલગ ઘણા બધા ઇકોસ્ફિયર્સ પાસ કર્યા આઈ વોઝ સ્ટીલ વન્ડરિંગ દેટ મીન્સ ધ રાઈટર વોઝ સ્ટીલ વન્ડરિંગ અબાઉટ ધ બ્યુટી ઓફ બેલેન્સ હાઉ ધ નેચર બેલેન્સીસ હિમસેલ્ફ રાઈટ ઇન ધી પ્લે ઓફ અવર પ્લેનેટ હાઉ વુડ ઇટ બી ઇફ ઇટ યુઝ ટુ બી will we be around to see it or would we have gone the way of the dinosaurs mammoth and woolly rhinos who's to say but after spending two weeks with a bunch of teenagers the writer is sharing the experience after spending two weeks with the bunch of teenagers who still have the idealism to save the world right de atwadia writer a teenagers jode spend kar right and she thinks who have the idealism to save the world right aaj jitla bavan loko che ne ma maximum je teenagers hata right ane je message apwa ma aivo to save this planet through this particular different different things to pre uh, to you know to take precautions right of this uh, particular planet can we really save our planet that is what the writer is thinking too right i can say is that a lot can happen in a million years but what's a difference a day makes i can say right what or many things can happen in a million years right so over as hajar varsh ma ghani badi vastu ghana bada changes thai sake but can we make a change in a day or can a difference a day makes right ek divas ma so fair far thai sakse a planet ni andar that's the question mark yes of course why we cannot if you plant one tree today at least after 10 to 20 years we may get the result we may get the result all right because whatever we are living in the present we are always focusing on the future we are always focusing on the future this is how we need to take care of our own planet to take care of our own planet 
right so that is what it is about this chapter that is chapter number three that is journey to the end of the earth if you have any questions or any